What's up, everybody? It's your girl who is, in fact, Dad Aspie. And I'm recording this way later into the week than I wanted to because I'm a dingus and so many life things were happening at the same time that my brain was just like, Pfft. So, I'm uh, sorry if this comes out a little later than I intended to. I'm still gonna be as consistent as possible, like I said, but it might just be a little bit later than usual. Hopefully on the same day, just a few hours later. So, we'll see. And one of these life things that happens to have been the thing that made my brain go poof is actually pretty exciting. And uh, it's, uh, I, I don't even know where to start with this. So if you saw my social media post, um, you saw that I had an exciting thing happen to me. And that thing all started with an email I got Monday morning. And I opened it. And they're like, hey. We found you on Casting Networks, and we saw that you're looking for representation, and want to conduct an interview with you over the phone or over Skype. So, next thing I know, later on that evening, I'm doing a Skype interview with someone with an agency. And everything that they were talking about and all that, it seemed very promising. I went through, like, hey here's the things that I'm going to ask about because these are red flags, not wording that exactly like that, of course, but in my brain, that's how it happened. And, you know, like the general questions, understanding what's happening, reading the contract that they sent me, and they were like, yeah, so let us know if you are interested because we'd like to have you. And the next day, I sent my reply saying that I'm interested, and I'm waiting to see where to go from there, but I very possibly have representation as an actor, which is super exciting. And this is somewhere that even though they are based uh, technically in uh, Tennessee, formerly San Antonio, Texas, they do cast nationwide. And anything that's outside of New York City would be video submissions, of course, and one thing that was really cool that was agreed on was that any gigs that travel and lodging is accommodated, I'd be open to traveling for, whether it be nationally or internationally, so that's pretty exciting, in a few ways, actually. Number one, I am about to achieve a big goal that I had as an actor in this year, it was to find representation, and to be completely honest, I totally blanked on that up until that email happened, so I'm really happy that happened. And also... Secondly, it's a step closer towards me making a living as an acting and getting more work through that. So that's pretty damn cool if I don't say so myself. Now, the only drawback is that a lot of my auditions might be self-tape video, and I kind of hate doing those because it's really awkward. That's just me personally. However, I guess doing this stuff might make me a little bit more used to it. So, like, that kind of helps, I guess. And also, I like having a physical person there to be a reader because it's kind of cool to play off, like, what they're giving, even though technically readers and auditions give you nothing. But, you know, it's at least it's a person, and I'm not just talking to myself. Not like that's what I'm doing right now, except this is you guys, so I talk to you and... Yeah. Other than that, there's just been, like, new developments for Renaissance Fair for this season, um, other personal behind-the-scenes stuff that I'm not really gonna get into, because it's personal things. Um, yeah, kind of a lot's happening at the same time, so my brain's just a little discombobulated, but part of it's some really exciting news, so I'm really happy about it, so yay. It's really cool. Um, I want to work on other business stuff too, like uh, business cards and stuff like that, not just for acting, but maybe also for this and other stuff like that. I'm hoping to have more details about all of this soon that I can share, um, and when I do, I'll try to keep you guys all in the loop about that. I want to, you know, let you guys in. I'm being a vulnerable person. I'm letting you into my life, and I guess that's part of what this is. <laughs> and I don't know exactly what else to talk about besides just brain farts being a thing that happens when a lot of things are happening at the same time. 
that's a thing that happens um, with me and probably a lot of you guys too, um, is that there's so much going on that you can't really process everything at the same time and you're trying to take it one step at a time, but by doing that, something is going to fall way out into the sidelines and it's just like, oh no, it's too late to do it beforehand and all of a sudden it's just like, oh damn, there's this deadline, oh no. Oddly enough, before recording this, I was actually trying to go to sleep, but then I was like, wait, it's Wednesday, I'm uploading tomorrow, oh no! And I'm gonna see what I can get in, um, and also slightly drive my roommates crazy, sorry. And on that note, I think that's all I've got for now, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, my name is Laura, and I am Ted Aspie. If you didn't like this, I'm the Game Grumps. And I'll see you guys next time.